What's going on everyone? Welcome back to part two of my uh, Photoshop for web developers series. Um, this time around we're going to be focusing on actually navigating around a PSD. Um, there's a lot of different ways of doing this and um, just gonna, we're just going to explore some of the easier ways to do this. So we're going to dive back into the Photoshop file from our first series. Um, if you want this Photoshop file, it's um, the website it came from is actually shut down and uh, you can get it from the github um, repository from the cutout session um, I'll include a link to it in, in, in uh, the description so um, the uh, traditional ways to navigate around APSD uh, first off you at least need to zoom in enough to actually do anything so I'm going to use our magnifying glass tool to do that I'm going to go back to the move tool. So um, by default, typically when you're wanting to navigate around something, you're going to use your mouse wheel. And so uh, for for uh, this case uh, in Photoshop, it's going to scroll us up and down, kind of as expected. Now, if you hold Control and sh uh, and start mouse wheeling, it's going to take you from left to right. Now, there's not a whole lot of um, acceleration behind this. You're going to have to scroll quite a bit to get where you want to go. Now to do this uh, quite a bit faster if you hold down the space bar and click and drag you can quickly get to where you're needing to go instead of using the uh, instead of using the arrow keys. So I'm just going to disable Karnak for the rest of uh, this time. Karnak is a uh, Windows utility for um, yeah, is a Windows utility for showing uh, keystrokes. It'll be uh, a little bit us more useful later in the series. So anyway, back to um, moving around by holding spacebar and clicking and kind of moving around the PSD. Now it's extremely smooth on my monitor because uh, it's utilizing those uh, the the graphics card. If you disable that or don't have uh, or you're using, for instance, an onboard graphics card, uh, you may not get that. But it's essentially the same thing. So that's that's panning around for us. Now, um, let's say you actually want to scroll in and out without having to use the magnifying glass tool. If you hold Alt scroll um, down it's going to scroll you out and then if you scroll up it's going to zoom you right back in so nothing too challenging there um, then also obviously we have the magnifying glass tool um, clicking is going to um, take you in if you hold alt it's going to switch it to um, zoom out mode now if you, um, let's say you get zoomed in quite a bit and kind of get lost inside your PSD, you can double click the magnifying glass and it's going to take you to 100%. A lot of the times when you open up a PSD or uh, a Photoshop file, it's going to zoom you out so that you can see everything. So for instance, uh, in this case, uh, by default it's around, oh, wrong one, it's around 42%. Um, so if I double click the magnifying glass, it's going to bring us to 100%. So this is going to be pixel for pixel matching your screen. And so just to, just to go over that real uh, quickly again, um, selecting the move tool, um, mouse wheel down and mouse wheel up to scroll up and down, holding control left or right, um, space bar and click and dragging is pans around. Uh, alt and mouse wheel is zoom in and out and magnifying glass is your default zooming in and out tool double click to bring uh, to come back to 100% pretty much sums it up for uh, navigating and, and painting around a PSD it's pretty simple and straightforward uh, play around with it a little bit and you'll uh, be able to, to quickly navigate around one um, hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video for Working with Text.